Grace Fisher's mom says her teenage daughter was sexually assaulted by a then fellow student at Hamilton Southeastern High School. Mom says some fellow students did not believe her. Some of them thought she was lying. She says school officials did not support her daughter once she came forward. They were more worried about protecting the perpetrator than they were the victim the whole time. He was um, a popular kid at the school. He was a football player. Under the federal law, Title IX, K-12 through schools are responsible for making sure alleged victims are safe. But mom says her daughter did not feel safe at school, especially seeing her alleged perpetrator in the hallways. She started having panic attacks and the solution from the dean was for our daughter to hang out for a few minutes in the lunchroom before she went to study hall and that way she shouldn't run into him. I was like flabbergasted. She and another mom in the district both filed Title IX complaints with the Federal Office for Civil Rights. And just this month, the feds opened an investigation into whether Hamilton Southeastern schools properly handled allegations of sexual violence. The district told us to protect student privacy and allow the administrative process to proceed fairly for all involved, we will not be commenting on the complaint. As for this mom, her daughter transferred out of concern for her safety. What kid wants to transfer schools with just a little bit more than a quarter left of their senior year? The alleged perpetrator has not been criminally charged. The Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault says victim blaming is alive and well in central Indiana. They say when police, prosecutors, and schools choose not to believe victims, it has a chilling effect. If a survivor comes forward and is disbelieved and blamed, then that survivor is more likely to suffer, you know, long-term psychological harm. Dr. Mari Irvine says it's human nature to blame victims because it makes us feel safer. We want to believe the world is a safe place and we want to believe it's a fair place and therefore it, somebody will not be sexually assaulted unless he or she is doing something wrong, essentially. Irvine emphasizes only about 6% of rape reports are false. They encourage schools, police, parents, everyone to join a national campaign, start by believing. We're focusing on what was the offender doing? Mom says school officials gave the boy more consideration than her daughter, and she hopes the Title IX investigation will change that for the future. The school needs to be held accountable for their actions. If they're going to receive federal funding, they're supposed to follow these laws, and they didn't. Kara Kenny, RTV6.